So every once in a while you go on ZBrush Central and you'll notice there's a new version of ZBrush available. You can click on that and it'll tell you uh, all the features that are in the new upgrade. To upgrade ZBrush, all you have to do, especially when it's just a point upgrade like 2021.6.3 to 2021.6.4, just go over here to your ZBrush in the root folder of this, so C Program Files, Pixel Logic, ZBrush 2021, and just run that Z upgrader. Of course, shut down ZBrush first, run Z upgrader, it'll walk you through it. It's not gonna ruin any of your hotkeys, it's not gonna change any of your custom stuff you've done to ZBrush, it's just gonna simply give you that point update. And you'll know it's good in the upper left-hand corner when it says 2021.6.4 or whatever the latest version of ZBrush is that you want to run. So really quickly, I'm just going to run through the new features that they've added in these uh, point releases. So right here, I'm just going to go into the tool palette. We're going to grab a cylinder 3D, drag it on our canvas, go into edit mode, make it a poly mesh 3D. I'm going to change my material over here to skin shader 4 so we can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to turn on our poly frame where you can hit shift F uh, to turn on your poly frame. So here, if we have uh, geometry open and then go in here to Dyna Mesh, you're going to see there's a new dot that's added. Now, whenever I DynaMesh, I like to turn blur down to zero. And we'll go ahead and leave that dot off and we can tap DynaMesh and this will be our DynaMesh resolution. So if I grab my snake cook brush, for example, BSH, and I click and I pull, let's go ahead and tap S to make our draw size a little bit bigger. Click and pull off of our object here and then control drag to read DynaMesh. You're gonna see that's gonna be the result. Now, if you turn this uh, closed circle, you just tap that little dot, that'll make it an open circle dot. And you may have noticed this in other areas, like under deformation, polished by features, I use open and closed circles. Essentially, closed circle retains volumes when you run this uh, deformation and uh, open circle will just kind of, you know, do a super polish. So that's the that's the difference between there. But in this case, in uh, the instance of uh, DynaMesh here, if I do open circle and then I can try, you know, pull out a little bit and I control drag, you're going to see it's not going to change anything in this case. It's just going to, you know, be business as usual. And if I turn that off and then pull out a little bit and then control drag to read DynaMesh, it's doing the exact same thing. However, let's go in here to BI to go to our uh, brush. You know, B is going to open the brush menu. I is going to narrow it down the insert mesh brushes. And we're going to go in here to IMM primitives or BIT. And then uh, just select any of these out of here. So let's go ahead and grab sphere 32. And we're just going to drag out a small sphere. Uh, with that, I'm going to go into Subtool, Split, and we're going to say Split Unmasked Points. So now this sphere is in its own subtool. So I can go over here and I can select it, or I can Alt-Tap in my uh, interface here to select a different subtool. So with this tiny sphere selected, we're going to zoom in a little bit, uh, we're going to go back down here, and you're going to see DynaMesh is already turned on. Because we inserted it on a mesh that already had DynaMesh turned on, it inherited those DynaMesh properties. Uh, so now you're going to see we have Closed Circle. So if I control drag it's going to DynaMesh... Uh, like that. And if we alt tap to that other DynaMesh, you're going to see the resolution between these two objects is the exact same. So all of these little squares that are making up uh, this DynaMesh, if we alt tap this one, those squares are going to be the same size. And that's controlled by your resolution. Now, if this is confusing to you uh, and you don't know what DynaMesh is or how it works, uh, you can always go to my YouTube page. We have an intro to ZBrush, new and updated intro to ZBrush playlist here, as well as this uh, ZBrush for ideation playlist. Either of these will walk you through the basics of ZBrush. And in fact, when you're in one of these playlists, just do a search for DynaMesh and there you go. Video seven on this playlist will give you all the latest and greatest on DynaMesh. Well, not the latest, but <laughs> tell you about DynaMesh. And then uh, video 17 in the ideation playlist will tell you all about DynaMesh. But now, uh, on this smaller object, we go over here and we turn this on. So we just tap that little circle there and it's going to go from close to open. And then we control drag. Well, nothing's going to happen. What happens with ZBrush is uh, if nothing, if your mesh doesn't change, it's not going to run a DynaMesh operation. The only reason, the only way this is going to run a DynaMesh operation is if it feels like or if it calculates that you've changed the vert positions previously. If you haven't, it's not going to update. So if you ever, you know, change your resolution settings or turn this from closed to open and it doesn't do anything, you're over here and it's like, why isn't it updating? It, because none of the vert positions have changed. So I need to go in here. One thing you can do is hold down shift and just do a little slight smooth or you can go in here and just kind of like wiggle one of the verts with the move brush uh, and that'll update ZBrush or tell ZBrush, hey, I've made a, a change to these vert positions. So go ahead and re-DynaMesh. So once you've done that, we control drag. Now you're gonna see it's going to DynaMesh, even though we didn't change the resolution, it's gonna DynaMesh at a much higher uh, resolution. So if we all tap back to this bigger object, and again, we turn this to open circle and we'll hold down shift and smooth a little bit just to tell ZBrush, hey, we changed these verts, control drag, doesn't change uh, the resolution. So basically what this does 
when you have it activated is if you have a small object in your scene, it will automatically DynaMesh at a higher uh, vert count based on the object size in your scene. That just makes it a little bit nicer so that, uh, you know, if you do have a small object in your scene and you want to, you know, go and work on it, they'll be given a little bit of a denser uh, polygon count uh, if you just have that closed uh, circle on. So again, shift uh, tap to update and then uh, control drag with open circle and you'll automatically get a uh, higher resolution. Now, if I go in here and I scale this up, you know, so now we're going to be working at, you know, about the same size as this object, we can we control drag. You're going to see it's still going to be comparable to this larger object. So now that it's a larger object, this isn't going to come into play anymore. So if we turn this off and shift to smooth and then control drag, you know, and then same thing for this one, these are going to be comparable resolutions again. It's only going to come into effect when you have a smaller object. Uh, again, just one more time, I'm going to hold down, we're going to alt tap this object, control drag it out, uh, scale this down so it's very, very small. We'll move it over here. So now if we uh, have this closed and we control drag, you're going to see even though these squares are the same size, the smaller object is going to have an effect very, very much lower resolution. Now, because these are part of the same object, even if I go over here and I turn this uh, open circle on, it's going to maintain that resolution. So it needs to be its own object because the, you know, this associated with this larger object is going, Zebra is going to treat it like a large object. So what I'm going to do is hold down control shift, uh, grab just a small object here. Again, go in here to subtool split hidden. So now it's its own object. We have uh, open circle on, I'm gonna control drag to redynamesh, and now we're gonna get that automatic higher resolution on the lower or the smaller object, but not on the larger object. So anyway, hope that made sense. That's the new open and close circle option on uh, dynamesh properties.